by now you should have completed at least two hours or two lessons worth of detailed research on the Internet of Things. So today should be our final lesson on this topic, um, barring any homework that you might need to do to complete anything that you don't complete within the allocated lesson time. So if you scroll down to this area of the page, you can see that there's now a task to follow up on the research that you've been doing. There's a table that's already set up, so have a look and read through that table and see the devices that already exist in that table. Um, your task is to either set up a table on a blank Word document or on the document that you've already been working on, or if you're working directly into this page, you could potentially just add some space here and insert a table using this feature. And your table should be, as this one is, five columns wide, and your table should have four rows. You need to use the headings that already exist in the top row of your table. And then in the other three rows, I'd like you to add information on three other smart devices that you came across during your research above in the last two lessons. So three things that don't already exist in the table that you could add to the table. So for example, you may have come across some smart devices incorporate, incorporated into cars to allow the possibility of self-driving cars to become a, a more imminent potential. Um, you may have come across smart sliders that could be added to Windows to allow Windows um, to be open from your phone or to allow Windows to be opened and, and sliding doors to be opened when the temperature goes above or below a certain temperature that you've set, or you could set them to open um, maybe when you're cooking um, at certain times of the day or maybe we're in the bathroom when the humidity reaches a certain level or you may have come across smart taps or smart faucets as they're referred to in America that are voice activated, motion activated or can be controlled by an app on your phone which allows you to um, run your bath from the app on your phone deciding the temperature of the water that you'd like, deciding the exact depth or volume of water that you'd like to run, making sure that your bath is perfect and that you don't um, get distracted and forget to turn off the tap. Uh, any three things that you've come across that aren't already in the table, you can then add to your own table, please. If you pause the video now and then come back once you've completed your table. So you should now have added three additional smart devices to the table above, whether that be in your own separate table or directly onto this page. Can I also take this opportunity, please, to ask you to make sure that you've had a really good read through of these and that you are also aware of the general disadvantages of the Internet of Things. If you haven't done that already, can you just pause the video and make sure you spend a little bit of time doing that? And once you've done that, our final task is to have a go at this exam style question on the Internet of Things from 2018. Again, I'm happy for you to complete this question directly onto this page or on your existing Word document or new Word document if that's what you prefer to do. Once you have completed the exam question, this topic is then complete. What I would like you to do then, please, is to either upload any documents that you've used for this topic to the assignment and turn it in. Or if you've worked directly onto this page, can you just press turn in or hand in on the assignment anyway, so that we are aware that you have completed this topic.